Hey everyone. Today I would like to show you how you can add a new 3D model, a new vehicle. And I also want to show you and uh, discuss what is a vehicle type, what is a vehicle class and how they are connected to each other in Visim. So first let's go to the base data menu. You have two options here, the 2D 3D model segments and 2D 3D models. If we select the 2D 3D models, here you have by default 22. Please note that this is version 2023, so you might have slightly different if you have a newer or older version. And if you open the model segments doors, the other menu, you have more. Because what it shows is here you have all the segments um, which means if you have, for example, a tram, that tram is built up by like five segments. Or if you have a truck, which has a trailer, both will be featured here. So let's go back here. So you need to use the 2D, 3D models if you want to add a new one. So what you do is you click plus to add if you already have the model you want to add. The default extension is v3d for the files. And in the new one, it is fbx. In the new version, it is still the old Visim format. So just make a note of that. So, and if you don't have it, so there is no tuk-tuk in this um, there is no tuk-tuk or this 3D vehicle um, by default in Visim, so I would like to add that one because we need to find one. So what you do, you go to your browser and you go to 3D Warehouse and here you can search for it. You need to select models and then you find one. So what you need to do is when you click on one, you need to pay attention of the measurements and the bounds. So the bounds is um, it's a good indic it's it's the indication of um, the model size, which is in inches. So this looks more or less okay. You can scale this in Visim though, but you don't want to select something which comes with uh, all kinds of uh, like a wall or other um, elements in the model. So if you look at this one, for example, this is in inches, but this um, the, the scale is off. So let's just go with this one. You download and you select the oldest uh, version of the SketchUp file possible because Visim um, can only use uh, older ones. So like, for example, Visim 10 can only use up to version 15, I think, in SketchUp. So that's quite an old one and you can't have those. However, if you have an old Visim version, you need to install SketchUp and then you can save it to an older version and then you can open that in an older Visim. But in this case, in 2023, you can use um, these newer versions. So what I do, I downloaded it before. So I just add it, you just select it and you bring it up. You can see here all the main uh, attributes, the size, the length, width, height, axial positions, joints, shaft lengths, colors. You can um, see those here, but of course, since it's a 3D model, it's not very applicable. And also what you can do here is you can scale it in case the 3D model is off a bit. And it also, uh, you can also edit the offset, the X, Y, Z, the Yo angle. You can change all of these to make sure that the vehicle is facing the right way. It is not rotated in any way and, uh, you know, that it, it looks the way it should be. Just let me show you an example that 
this this is this is off. So let me put that back. It tries to do automatically these offsets and 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 yours. So it most of the time it works fine, but sometimes you need to play with it, especially if you want to put together like a truck. I will show you that as well uh, in a second or in a new video, not to make this very long. Okay, you can also try to generate it automatically um, in case it is uh, by default not set up correctly. <laughs> Just select OK. So now your tuk-tuk is 302. Of course, you can change it to whatever you want. You can add a new name to it. You see on this side all the other all the attributes. You can also edit it there, whatever you need to. And if you go to the to the other window, this one, you can see that it has appeared. So when you load traffic into the model, you can set up vehicle compositions. A vehicle composition is basically a vehicle mix. When you use vehicle inputs, you need to use vehicle compositions. And here you can see that there are two vehicle types in it and there is a relative flow. So which means in this default composition, you have cars and HGVs like trucks. The default speed distribution is also set up there, which applies when you use vehicle inputs, not when you use matrices. And the relative flow tells you the proportion for each. So this is um, what Vizim does. You, it always adds these two together and then takes the relative proportion between them. So basically this is 98%, this is 2%. You can change it. So if you put one there and you put two there, <laughs> then you will have 66.6% um, .6 of trucks and uh, the rest will be cars. Okay, so let's go to vehicle type because by having 2D, 3D models, it doesn't matter. You still can't use those in the vehicle compositions. So first you need to set up a distribution for 2D, 3D models. So what this one is, you can set up a distribution where you can um, select multiple like vehicles or, or, or kinds of these models. So you will see here in car, so for cars, you can see that there are like by default uh, different um, uh, vehicle or models like a Volkswagen Golf, Audi, Mercedes, Peugeot and so on. But in the HGV you only have one. And uh, I already created a tuk-tuk, but let me just delete that and do it again. So you do it tuk-tuk with this add button and here in the two uh, model 2d 3d you go down and select the newly created tuk-tuk share since we only have one model in it 3d model it doesn't matter it is it is a relative share so it can be one a hundred whatever all will be tuk-tuk regardless of what you put here it would only make sense if you have multiple ones now we have the model distribution and what we need to do is we need to go to vehicle types. In vehicle types, by default, there are already many set up. I have already created the tuk-tuk before. Let me just delete that. So, for example, you see car is 100. There is the name. There is the category. As you can see, by default, there are these categories. Model 2D, 3D distribution. So here car is selected and there is a coral color distribution. This can be useful, for example, when you have like cars, different kinds of cars, like let's say cars to the airport, uh, background traffic, and so on. And, and you can give a different color. So when you run the simulation, you see that which color, uh, which car is, is going where. There is a occupancy distribution. This means like how many people sit in the car, basically. This makes more sense when you have buses, for example, or a tram or uh, you can set up also a, um, a capacity 
like uh, how many people can sit in it. As you can see, for buses, there is 110, and for tram, there is a two, over 200. So for the tuk-tuk, we need to create a new one. Of course, you can add tuk-tuk to an existing one, like if you want tuk-tuk to be included in cars, you can just do that and just uh, go to the 2D, 3D model distribution and you just basically add tuk-tuk here. Yeah, and you can just select the split or the proportion you want. So let's go back to the vehicle types. Let me create a new tuk-tuk. Um, it doesn't matter the number, you can e whatever you want. There are, uh, so let me, let's start here in the first step. So category, um, you should find like what suits it better. So is it like a car or a truck or a, like a heavy vehicle or bus, tram, pedestrian or bike? Tuk-tuk is more like a car, I think. Vehicle model, so here you select tuk-tuk. Colors, I think you just go with the default. Uh, you can also add different colors and uh, whatever you want. That doesn't matter here. If you want to be more detailed, you can set up uh, um, acceleration and deceleration uh, functions uh, or distribution, sorry. So if you go to the base data distribution and uh, you can find them here, here, sorry, in functions. But also in distribution, you have other like power and weight, which is uh, which will be important for um, trucks. So as you can see, there are weight and power, but these are grayed out because for car it is not applicable. But if you select HGV, um, sorry, not there. Here, if you select HGV, then you can select the weight and the power. Yeah, let's just use by default the cards. Special, this is not really uh, important at this stage, um, these settings. You can also set the occupancy and everything, so you OK that. Now you have a tuk-tuk vehicle type. You can also change some other settings here. Now what you need to do is you can create a vehicle class. So the difference between the two is um, vehicle types basically tells the type of vehicles and then their attributes. In vehicle class, it is for evaluation and for um, the settings you can do in your model. So for example, speed decisions, reduce speed areas, priority rules, and so on. You all set those up to vehicle classes and also the evaluation when you extract results in the end it will show you vehicle classes and not vehicle types so if you want to have uh, okay let, let's step back so when does it when does that important it is important when you have uh, a big model you have all kinds of uh, vehicle types. Um, so for example, you have cars for the airport, you have cars for the background. So we have multiple cars, <laughs> but all the cars basically behave the same way. So you can just uh, put all of that um, into, um, into the um, car vehicle class. So you can just select here what you want. So, in, for example, here, this will be car, including tuk-tuk. <laughs> you can just select it. As you can see, you can select multiple ones. So, we just add tuk-tuk there. But if you want to evaluate or to use different um, settings for the tuk-tuk, for example, when it crosses a reduced speed area or a speed limit, if you want to uh, assign different speed limits or different speeds or or uh, um, at the turns like reduced speeds, you can just create a new, uh, a new specially, a new uh, vehicle class for tuk-tuk. You can do the same, so you can create like, you know, airport, cars, and uh, background cars, 
background cars so that way and then you can just assign like the background cars and uh, sorry airport cars and the background cars you can tick like this one if you just want to use the colors from the vehicle type or if you untick it you can overwrite and you can do what uh, you can uh, detail it the way you want so yeah so this way you have a tuk tuk <laughs> vehicle type you have to took vehicle class and now you can go to traffic menu vehicle composition and now you can just add tuk tuk here yeah you can select this speed distribution and the relative flow so let's say they all um so for um, from uh, nine or sorry from three vehicles that will be one car one hgv and one tuk tuk yeah i hope this was helpful <laughs> A, that will be a new video later when I will show you how you can uh, put vehicles together like trucks, um, how you can couple them and uh, how can you play with the axles and things like that. Thanks a lot for watching. Please let me know your comments, video recommendations or any ideas in the comment section below. And if you like what you see, please consider like and subscribe. Thank you very much. See ya and next time.